Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Peter from ReviewsOnAnything.com and today I want to give you a quick show run of the new HP Mini 210. Now I know what you're thinking, there's already quite a few reviews out there for uh, about this notebook, but recently HP has made some changes, uh, chief among which is the battery. This is the actual 6 cell battery, um, as you can see it's a lot smaller than it used to be. Uh, the old 6 cell used to have a very bulgy back that's stuck out of the laptop quite a little bit but they've made it uh, nice and small and now it's, uh, it's completely flush with the netbook uh, as I'll show you later. Uh, unfortunately they haven't addressed the, the lock though because there were a few issues with that. Um, here on this side you have a s little slider that you lock it in place with and on the other side there's a spring-loaded slider. Uh, so it effectively if you forget this one it's only stuck into your netbook with this little pin over here. Uh, yeah, as far as, I was, as far as I'm concerned, they would have done better with another spring load on this side. But that's uh, beside the point. I'll show you that it fits into the netbook quite nicely. As you can see, it's nice and flush with the netbook now. Doesn't intrude onto the bottom at all and it just looks so much nicer and you still get the great uh, battery capacity from the 6 cell battery. Now HP claims uh, close to 10 hours of battery life obviously depending on uh, how you use it. Um, I'm, I have to say they weren't that far off. I've used this um, all day with Wi-Fi on and uh, regular browsing with the screen brightness dimmed back a little bit of course and I got seven, eight, maybe eight and a half hours of battery life out of it. So pretty good job there. Obviously you still get uh, all the standard ports, um, the USB, two USB ports here on the side, the Kensington lock, uh, the power switch and the card reader and here behind this little flap open it for you, is the Ethernet connection. On the other side it's the VGA port, another USB uh, port and your headphone jack that's pretty much the same as uh, the uh, original uh, 210 Mini was. A difference again though is the bottom here. As you can see there's a little grill here. All this is your uh, netbook speaker. Well it used to be two little grills here in the bottom and now it's just one big speaker grill. And uh, apparently you get some Dolby Advanced audio out of that it says here. Here on the inside is pretty much still the same netbook. Uh, you get the 10 inch screen, the nice keyboard, the chiclet keyboard, and uh, the mouse pad here with the integrated buttons. Now that's all pretty much the same as the, uh, the original 210 Mini had. Now another change they made is to opening this thing up. HP is uh, fortunately one of the few manufacturers of netbooks that understands that people who buy one of these might want to fiddle around with it a little bit. Um, it used to have a few buttons here that you had to push pretty hard and then pull the bottom cover pretty hard to, uh, to open it with obviously the risk of breaking it. As you can see now it's just a little slider and it opens up. It is actually that easy and you're inside your 210 mini. Over here you got the RAM, over here is the hard disk which is a 250 gig uh, 7200 RPM hard disk as standard. I have replaced this though with a, a 64 gig solid state hard drive and here the RAM is a standard uh, 1 gig which you can obviously replace with a 2 gig card. I had some issues with uh, a standard Kensington uh, RAM slot, uh, chip I tried the, it comes with a 1066 DDR3 uh, memory. I tried the 1333 DDR3, which uh, should obviously work, it should just downgrade by itself, but it didn't. And I tried the Kensington 1066 DDR3 RAM chip as well, and that didn't work either. So I'm not really sure why that is, but I, uh, I will still have to look into that. The chip that it comes with is a Samsung, so maybe it's just the problem with the manufacturer. Uh, back to the hard disk, like I said, I replaced this with a solid state disk. Just unscrew the hard drive here, there and there, and peel the sticker off and then the whole thing comes out. 
you disconnect it here and uh, you unscrew the hard drive from the tray and you can put in any two and a half inch hard drive that you fancy. Um, a little side note there, be careful with your uh, reinstalling of Windows because you can't just uh, make a recovery CD of the original hard disk and pop it in the other one unless they are the same size. Um, so like I said it comes with 250 gig on standard and it, I didn't get it to work with the 64 gig solid state drive, the recovery disk that is. Um, and it turned out after contacting HP that turned out to be because the size difference. So I uh, actually did a fresh install of Windows to solve that problem. Uh, so make sure you're aware of that. Well, it weighs only three pounds. That's a kilo and a half. So it's very light. It's very easy to put in your bag. Um, I got a nice sleeve with it, so it doesn't uh, scratch or anything. Um, as you can see, it has a matte finish as well, so it doesn't attract fingerprints as much as um, many other netbooks do. I really, honestly, do not have a clue why you would want this in a very shiny finish that is uh, shiny for about three minutes until you take the plastic off and then it's covered in fingerprints forever. Uh, I really like this mattish finish. It does attract a bit of uh, fingerprints obviously but not that much as the, the shiny models do. Um, if, you, uh, if you upgrade this with a solid state drive it's not only quieter, it saves power. Uh, the fan doesn't come on uh, as much because it's uh, obviously not getting as warm. And if you upgrade it to uh, two gigs of RAM then it's a very, very capable package of, uh, of a mobile PC that you can take with you and that you can work with on the road. The connectivity is good, the battery life is very good, uh, the design is nice, I think it's a very uh, pretty looking thing as well. And especially now with the new uh, battery, I think it's a, very, uh, it's a big step forward uh, as far as design goes. And it's also very, a lot more practical because you don't have the thing bulging out the back anymore. Now, as far as the netbook itself concerned, obviously it's not a powerhouse. Uh, anything as far as, as far as gaming or photo editing, video editing is concerned, uh, don't look for a netbook. It, it's just, it just doesn't work. The processing power isn't there, the RAM power isn't there. Uh, it's not a device for that. However, if you are a traveler and need to work on the road a lot, if you are a salesman and need to give presentations a lot and don't feel like carrying a heavy laptop with you, then this is definitely a device for the device for you.